Let me show you how to set up Almighty Drop Zone with your Google Cloud account. So even if you don't have a Google Cloud account, you can just sign up for free trial. And even when the trial expires, you are getting uh, five gigabytes per month of free storage. So it's a great deal. It's much uh, better than what uh, uh, Bubble uh, gives you in a free plan. And even if you go over that, uh, it's uh, it costs uh, less than three cents uh, for a gigabyte so 10 gigabytes is maybe 30 cents a month so uh, let's see how to do that uh, first of all let's go to console um, and here i made a small script uh, that can help you so if even if you never use this you can just uh, uh, go to this uh, cloud shell and open the, uh, I, I'll also put this link on the description, but you can open the docs for uh, the almighty drop zone plugin and under setting up um, Google Cloud Storage, you have this line of code. That you can copy and paste into the shell that was just opened. And now press enter and authorize. and uh, give your project some name like uh, uh, awesome project, project so and now magic happens so now it takes maybe 20 30 seconds and uh, you will get your project set up together with uh, cloud storage bucket that is private so um, your files won't be publicly accessible even if um, somebody knows the link of the file also you will get your credentials for a service account uh, you don't have to fully understand uh, these terms if you're just beginning but maybe if you want to have some more advanced setup later uh, you can um, adjust these settings in the console so when all of that is created, uh, you will be asked to download this credentials file. Press download and go to um, go to your bubble project and plugins. Add add a drop zone plugin, uh, install, and here it will ask you for. The credentials that's basically this file you just download it just select all of this and copy to credentials um, credentials field and the default bucket name is available here in the shell so uh, you just double click and it will it will copy it so here paste the default bucket so you can have more buckets as well but uh, this script creates a default uh, just one bucket that you can uh, use to get started with so it's one private bucket and that's pretty much it for the setup thank you for watching and we'll continue in another video